This week, the S&P 500 was distracted by the return of Roar and Kitty and the revival of the GameStop saga. The stock had doubled as of market close on Thursday, but pulled back on Friday when Deep Fucking Value interrogated his 8-ball during the livestream. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 93% of the index performance, changes to the index, and which companies will announce earnings next week. All in today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,346 and 99 cents, up 1.3% from last week. The P ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 27.89, up 0.7 points since last week. Here are your gainers. Nvidia is up another 278 billion or 10.3% as the company enjoys the tailwind of the AI bubble and signals a very clear market top. Amazon up 81.7 billion or 4.5% following the announcement of a new computer vision project to reduce returns. Let's hope it's not a data tagging sweatshop this time. Apple up 70 billion or 2.4% on increased expectation that the company will announce AI offerings during its developer conference next week. Meta is up 65.1 billion or 5.5% as the company disclosed a plan to monetize WhatsApp using AI chatbots. Microsoft is up 61.3 billion or 2% after announcing layoffs impacting multiple units. Moving on to your losers. Exxon is down 20.5 billion or 3.9% following a 4.4% drop in crude oil prices on June 3rd. Chevron down 11 billion or 3.9%, just like Exxon following a drop in crude oil prices earlier this week. Nextera Energy is down 9.7 billion or 5.9%, then again, like Exxon and Chevron, down following a drop in crude oil prices. JP Morgan is down 8.9 billion or 1.5% on no specific news. Finally, Home Depot down 7.9 billion or 2.4% on no specific news as well. This week, there were three changes announced to the S&P 500 that will be effective on June 24, 2024. Robert Half, down 14% over the past year, moving down to the S&P Small Cap 600 and will be replaced by recently eligible KKR & Co, up 79% over the past year. Comerica, up 9% over the past year, moving down to the S&P Small Cap 600 and will be replaced by recently eligible CrowdStrike, up 134% over the past year. Illumina down 44% over the past year, moving to the S&P Midcap 400 following an announced subsidiary spin-off. It will be replaced by GoDaddy up 92% over the past year, moving up from the S&P Midcap 400. So what to look out for next week? There will continue to be volatility in GameStop and related meme stocks. We will be watching from the sidelines with a ball of popcorn. This is really a historic moment and a clear sign that a new generation of retail investors are here to buy the market top. We have a video in the works on this for those unfamiliar with the MOAS. Three companies will release earnings during the week and then June 14th, 2024. And the most interesting will be Oracle on June 11th at 4 p.m. Central Time, expected to report $1.65 EPS on $14.57 billion of revenue for their Q4 2024 results. Broadcom on June 12th at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, expected to report $10.84 EPS on 12 12.01 billion of revenue for their Q2 2024 results. Adobe on June 13th at 2 p.m. Pacific time expected to report $4.39 EPS on 5.29 billion of revenue for their Q2 2024 results. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia was up last week, you should watch this video next.